Okay, shalom, shalom. How is everyone doing? How is everyone doing on this beautiful Tuesday? I am wonderful. Y'all, I bought me a new wrap. This is one of my, my new head wraps I got from um, Amazon. I'm gonna get me two more because they only cost like $4 at the most. Okay, so this video is about dressing candles. Y'all know I work my magic. Yes, I'm into spirituality. Spirituality is my birthright. So let me share. Let me share with you. Okay, y'all already know I have, I have, these are the dragon's blood. Okay. Smudge sticks. And the dragon's blood is for protection and to re return to cinder. Whatever evil someone has done to you, use that dragon blood and it destroys it and it sent it right back to them, whatever they sent to you. I also have mugwort. Mugwort, this is for protection. Mugwort, okay. Mugwort is, is like a mossy. Let me take it all the way out so you can actually what it looked like. See, it's kind of mossy like, like a moss. See, you see, like moss. It's not weed, y'all. See, that's mugwort, okay? I've had a mugwort for a while. I got this mugwort from Leaves and Roots in Orlando. I have an order from them in a good while because they stopped carrying um, a lot of things. And I got, this is, um lavender y'all know help you relax keep calm and peace okay and um <coughs> elderberry for protection mm -hmm. these are just some sheets Shell that I use to decorate my candles with sometimes, decorate the altar. And I have a few pieces of sweet grass as well. I have a burned sweet grass. That's for protection as well. Mm -hmm. Sweet grass. Yeah. I think I'm going to burn some of this sweet grass. And, and I have this big this box because I want I wanted to just consolidate put all my stuff in this one box, and then it happened to I don't know how it happened, but it spilled. Some of it spilled. So okay, so uh, let's see. box here, put my camera down a little bit. Okay, so I have, y'all know I have the olive oil. Um, I have some more of this on the way, all natural. When y'all order your oils, make sure they're not flammable, okay? So you need to order 100% natural. Okay, and you don't want to start a fire. Okay, and I have my calamus. This is one hundred percent calamus oil, pre essential oil. So essential oils. Okay, don't don't order. Don't get aromatherapy oil oils for your altar. No. The aromatherapy oils are flammable. Don't. Okay, so um, this candle, this white candle, um, I'm dressing this for, uh, well, for one thing, the, the Most High tell us to light his altar, set up an altar for him every day. And that's just what I do. And of course, candles are white. All candles are white until they dye them different colors. Now, just so happened, my lucky color 
is white. My look, I got another lucky color of mine is red, orange, and gold. So this is going to double bless me. Okay. Okay. So, but this, this candle is for uh, the most high's altar. Okay. And um, the most high, you go and read in the old testament. Uh, it talks about the altar of incense. So the most high tells you what he likes on his altar, the incense that he likes. He likes frankincense, myrrh, olive oil, calamus, and cinnamon. So I have the frankincense in here and I have the calamus or in here as well. Now, what I am going to do, I'm going to um, get some sticks so I could poke down so the oil can go down. Okay, so the oil can go down. So I'm going to poke holes in the candle so that, yeah, this is going to work. So because you want the oils, the oil to go down, you don't want the oil to sit, you know, on top, because if it does sit on top, then it'll interfere with the, it, um, the wick. And then you'll find yourself having to uh, continue to light your candle over and over and over again, you know? So I'm gonna poke holes in here. That way the oil will go all the way down. I don't have to worry about Okay. I'll put a little, just a little more olive oil in here. Okay. And the most, okay, and calamus is already in this one. So olive oil and calamus is in here. I have frankincense and myrrh. This is frankincense and myrrh. I bought a big bag. And so I put I always put it in a Ziploc mat bag and I, I mix it up real good because it's gonna burn together anyway. And y'all, y'all know what? Some of these pieces, especially the um the myrrh, some of these pieces, you see how big that is? That's a big piece of myrrh. Some of them bigger than that. Big pieces like that, I, those are the type that I sit and put on the, on the uh, charcoals. Okay, so I'm gonna put some frankincense and myrrh in here. And frankincense and myrrh, um, it comes in, this is the original form, uh, as a matter of fact, it's, it's a gummy substance. It's a gummy substance. Okay. Now I'm still waiting on my, my uh, cinnamon to come. So that's the only thing that I wouldn't have, I won't have to put in is, is the cinnamon. So this is a candle for the most high. Ahaya Shahaya, the creator. So I put this one on the altar. And this is also, I'm, I'm doing, I'm burning a red candle because for myself, because like I say, red is also one of my lucky colors. We have lucky colors, we have lucky numbers, we have lucky days, sure do. Okay, so I'll go more into detail in that later in the next video. So I have already put olive oil in this candle, in this red candle. Now I am also going to dress it. I want peace. So, you know, lavender brings peace. So I am going to put some lavender in there some lavender okay um okay 
Okay, so these are my two candles. I'm going to light them. Put them on the Most High's altar and ask the Most High to bless. So everyone, you should have a altar. Bill's cocoa. Y'all should have an altar for the Most High. So should. So y'all, thanks for tuning in. Now, uh, these candles, these candles, I got these candles from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Well, a dollar and 25. But yes, these are seven day candles. You don't get them any cheaper than that. They don't get any cheaper than that. Okay. And um, they have different colors, different colors, um, different colors. Um, like during the certain um, seasons, they'll have black candles, you know, during the winter months, you know, things of that nature. Yeah. So thank y'all for tuning in. Y'all let me know how everything is going with your spiritual practices. You don't have to tell me all your secrets or anything, but are you are you getting your keeping your altar lit? And it, uh, is it, is your prayers being answered? Okay. If not, maybe you should talk to whoever you're praying to to find out what the holdup is. Okay. So please like, share, subscribe, and please hit that notification button so you'll be notified <coughs> when I drop new videos. Shalom.